verse. This is a more important verse. We go back to John. Like I said, all the revelation is actually in the book of John. In the book of John. John chapter 13, verse 20. Today, you will learn something. You will understand the secret behind. Why there are some people move in another level of miracles and breakthrough and blessing. You will learn the principle today. John chapter 13, verse 20. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who receives whomever I send, receive me. And he who receives me, receive him who sent me. Okay, Jesus said this. Okay, this one, very clear emphasize saying is that most assuredly, you see, Jesus said most assuredly in King James Version is verily, verily, means um, truly, truly. You see, everything Jesus said is true. He don't have to put in most assuredly or truly, truly or very, very. But when he say important principle, he emphasize. Jesus don't say, thus say the Lord because he is the Lord. You understand? So he said, I say unto you, it's enough. But whenever Jesus put extra emphasis, like most assuredly, most assuredly, he don't have to say that everything he say is sure. You understand? But to get our attention, he's going to tell you a very important revelation. And you must pay attention whenever you see this word come up, most assuredly, right? Or verily, verily, truly, truly. You must look carefully this sentence. He said, I say to you, he who receive whomever I send, receive me. You see, that's how Jesus said, he who receive whomever, whoever I send, you receive, you are receiving me. You understand? So it depends how you treat the one that being sent by Jesus now. You understand? Jesus will see you receive him or not is whether you receive the one that he sent or not. Because the principle is the same principle I showed you earlier. You see the word send came out again. Whomever I send, the word send came out again. He who received me, received him who sent the principle. You understand? And he put an extra emphasis, most assuredly. That is the revelation. Let me go to the next verse first, then I share it all together. So this is John 13, verse 20. You see how Jesus built principle. John 5, John 8, John 13, and how he built his principle. And finally, he come to this part. He come to this part, John 15, 26. John 15, 26. And Jesus said this. After John 13, John 15, he said this. But when the helper, when the helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceed from the Father, he will testify of me. See, Jesus said, Whomever I send, you receive the one I send, you receive me, you receive the sender. Now Jesus said this thing: I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit whom I send, but when the helper comes, whom I shall send to you. You see, Jesus is saying, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit. Meaning, from now on, how you treat the Holy Spirit is how you treat me. You understand? If you say to Jesus, Jesus, I love you, I love you. Every day you say, I love you, I honor you, I honor you. But you don't love and you don't honor the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, based on Jesus' principle that he just teach from John chapter 5, how he treat the person. As the person honor him or don't honor him. The principle is you consider not honoring me. Because it's how you honor the one that I sent. Then I count you, you are honoring me. It doesn't matter every day you live your life to say I honor Jesus. But if you don't honor the Holy Spirit, you are not honoring Jesus and God the Father. You understand? That is how Jesus tell you his principle. Same thing, Initially, he said, if you don't honor me, you are not honoring the Father. It doesn't care you every day you say you honor the Father. God the Father define whether you're honoring him, God the Father, is by whether you honor Jesus or not. You understand? So I show you very clear scripture. It's not from Agabus. It's from the scripture. Don't say Agabus say this. It's not Agabus say this. It's the scripture say this. So you say, Jesus said, whomever I send, whomever I send, You receive the one that I send, you are receiving me, whomever. Then later on, you see 15, he said, I send the Holy Spirit. Now you understand why is Jesus trying to teach everyone? First, he said, 
I'm sent the, by the Father. So you receive me, you are receiving God the Father. Then later on, he said, now whomever I send, you receive that person, you are receiving me, you are receiving God the Father. Now the Trinity in this era is based on how you relate to the Holy Spirit.